Okay, so in this particular problem here, we have a directed graph that shows the trails on a rope course between platforms A, B, C, and D. So if you're on platform A, you could either go by ropes to B, to C, or to D. Uh, if you're on B, you can go from A and to D, but not to C directly, and so on and so forth. Uh, we want to construct the transition matrix. Okay, so this is different than the adjacency matrix because the order that you do it in is different. You have to remember back to when we did matrices. Okay, and so we always start from here. We, here's the current state and the future state is how we thought about it. And so it's still good. So A does not go to A. B, uh, if I go down here, A will go to B. It will also go to C and it will also go to D. And so on and so forth. So I know it'll be 1 and 0 and 0 and 1. And it'll be 0, 0, oh, 0, 1, and 0, because there's, I can go from C to B, and that's the only way to get off of C is to go to B. He cannot go to himself, and he cannot go to D. And finally, D goes, could go to A. It does not go to B, but it does go to C, and it does not go to itself. Now, if you remember though, a transition matrix though is based upon probabilities. And I've not written the probabilities because what I tend to do is I look at my values and I go down the rows. There are three options from A, so I'm going to have to divide each of these by three. These columns have to add up to one. And so there's two options out of B. If I'm going to try and go out of B, I can go to A or D. And so here are my probabilities. If I'm randomly choosing my way off of B, it's a random walk, then I can have one of two choices. If I'm on C, the only way off is to go to B. And then finally at D, I could go to A or I could go to C. And so there's a one half chance for both of those. So this is my transition matrix T. And remember from before our transition matrix being probabilities. Now, Nicole starts the course on platform A, and she wishes to travel along three, tra three trails. What's the probability that she is on platform D when she's finished? So I want to go from A to D. And so if I go to my matrices, what I'm going to try and calculate um, for B part is I'm going to take T to the power of 3. I've already taken the liberty to put it into A, as you can see, are my, my values. So if I go to A and I put it to the power of 3, I'm looking for A down to D. A to D is the bottom cell here. And so stealing from my calculator, I know the answer to B part is going to be 0 0.278 is the probability of start at landing on D, doing three trails, and from starting at A. Then it says by using large components on M. And again, I actually don't mean M, but I mean T, my transition matrix T. Okay, I want to use large exponents on this to find the steady state matrices. So if I look at A again, if I recall, as I raise this, as this goes to infinity, it reaches a steady state. So if I just put a big number like 50, if it can handle it, the values start to assume to different probabilities. If I even go further, and you'll see that these are limiting values and that each column is going to be the same. You can only do so many and then it's unable to do so some. But if you go across the columns, you will see that they are all the same. And so I can see that this is my steady state, my steady state matrix here, my steady state when t to the power of infinity is equal to 0 0.264, 0 0.294, 0 0.206, and 0 0.23. 5 is my steady state. Now D part says by creating matrices, and here 
we can get d part here by creating a system of equations to determine the steady state probabilities for this rope course. So this is asking us to do the same thing as C part, but it's telling you so you have no choice but to do it by systems of equations. Here is my transition matrix. And I know what the steady state, the idea behind the steady state matrix is if I take these variables A, B, C, and D, and I multiply it by these probabilities, I end up with the same values here, A, B, C, and D. And so if I make the system of equations, I just multiply these, I end up getting a half B, zero A plus a half B, zero C plus a half D is equal to A. If I rearrange this, I can see that it is negative A plus B plus half D is zero. Going to the next line, I'm going to get one third A plus zero B plus C equals B from here. I'm going to bring this over so it's actually minus B plus C equals two zero. Going to the next line, it's a one third times A, zero B, zero C then plus a half d equals c, bring it over, it's negative c is equal to zero. And then finally I get one third a, one pl a plus a half b, zero c, zero d equals to d, bring it over, subtract the d is equal to zero. And now one of the things that I know with these steady states when this happens, I need to have a fifth equation to find the actual steady state. And we went over this uh, last year. I do know that A plus B plus C plus D, all of these have to equal to one because that is what this probability is. These are the only options available. They have to equal one. And so here's my system of equations. If I go to poly simultaneous, I am not doing root finder. I'm going to do simultaneous equation solver. I have one, two, three, four, five equations and four unknowns. And then it's just a matter of going, entering the value. So negative one, one divide two, zero, one divide two, and if I can pull this off without making any mistakes on the matrix, I will be happy. Three minus one, one, zero, zero, and one divide three, zero, negative one, one divide two, zero, And then I have one divide three point five zero negative one zero. And then finally I get one A, one B, one C, one D equals one. And I hit solve. And this will be my steady state matrix. This is in fractions. Here are the decimals. If I take this and I convert it to decimals, you will see that these decimals are the same as those. And so now, so now if I want to do E part, it says due to wear and tear, the platform's maintenance needs to be consistently made for safety based upon the probabilities which will need to be maintained first. Well, based upon these probabilities, if I, it's hard to see with our fraction, but if I look at the decimal probabilities, I can see that this one gets used the most frequently. The probability of being on platform B is most common. So B needs to be maintained first. The one that is the least often is platform C, which should get maintained last because it is not used as often as the others. And so make sure with your transition matrix and adjacency matrix, you don't confuse the two and you can use our steady state probabilities and graph theory as well.